Got him. Hey, yep, hey. not a bad fish. That's, That's another good fish, man. Good That's, That's a good tog. Nice. That's a solid little chinna right there. There we go. Doesn't feel like a bad fish. That's another good fish. Keep him. There we go. Got him on the stringer. Two tog on the stringer. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty. I got two nice fat tog. Number one. And number two. I'm gonna get these filleted up and I will see you guys back in the kitchen. So I got my fillets, but one thing I've been overlooking for years is the tog cheeks. Apparently these are really good. And I got one here. It's like a little, like almost feels like a scallop in texture. So I think this is gonna be really good. I might just like fry this or something and just have like a little cheek bite, but I'm glad I did that. All right, man, I'm getting ready to chef up some tog. I cleaned up and took the skin off. Rinsed it in cold water and, and dried it off. So you can tell if you get good sized blackfish, man, they'll put off a lot of meat. So pretty stoked about this. And I got two of the uh, jowls or jowls, however you pronounce it, the uh, cheek meat um, that I cut off too. I'm really excited to try these out. I've never eaten it before. So I don't do a lot of catch and cooks, but I'm gonna try and change that this year and eat a lot more of the fish I catch. Um, that being said, I'm not the best chef in the world, so I like to keep things simple. Uh, the only ingredients you need for what I'm going to do today is some eggs to make an egg wash, a little bit of olive oil, lemon. Uh, I wish I had Old Bay, but I don't, so I'm going to do it with some garlic salt and some panko bread seasoning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bake the fillets with breadcrumbs on it, and I'm going to fry the cheek meat also in breadcrumbs, so I'm just gonna fry it in oil and see how that turns out. Super simple and it's really not gonna take that long. All right, gonna make my egg wash. Start off with two eggs, see how that looks. And really, just crack an egg and, and whisk it. All right, just gonna do a little train here, egg wash to the breadcrumbs. Give it a nice little roll around. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, so I got my fillets breaded and my cheek meat breaded. Preheat the oven to 400. My oven makes some cool noises. And I'm gonna heat up some olive oil to fry some cheek meat. And once my oven gets to 400, I'm gonna put the fillets in for, they're kind of thick fillets, so I'm, I'm gonna do Start at like 13 minutes and check on them. Anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes is, is kind of the range you want. Hit everything with a quick dash of garlic salt. So this is just pretty much breadcrumbs and some garlic salt. Uh, kind of just letting the fish speak for itself more or less. Blackfish is a really mild, white, flaky meat. So you, you don't need to really disguise it with too, too much, but um, that being said, who doesn't love breadcrumbs on their fish? So I think this is gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna put down a smidge of olive oil in this pan just so the fish doesn't really stick to it. Bring it over here. Yeah, bear with me, my kitchen is still under renovation, so it's not at 100% yet. And just throw the fillets right on the olive oil. Bada bing, bada boom. That doesn't look half bad. Get that bad boy in the oven once it's up to temperature. All right, I think we're up to temp. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my cheek meat in. Oh yeah, that's what you wanna hear. I think I'll do like maybe a minute on each side. Should cook pretty fast. Give this bad boy a flip. Oh, this smells amazing. Having trouble flipping though. Oh God. Oh yeah. Oh man, this smells so good, dude. I might have to start keeping the cheek meat on every blackfish. It looks amazing. All right, my oven's chirping at me, so tog meat's going in. Start with 12 minutes. Still learning this oven. Doo -doo -doo. All right, I think these are done. Don't want to overcook them. And 
I am really excited to try those out. I might have burnt the breadcrumbs slightly. Maybe should have done like 30 minutes less, but it still smells amazing. And I think the meat is still gonna be pretty good on the inside, but I'm gonna wait to cut into that. All right, man, I got one baked filet and two fried cheek meat. Um, it smells really good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna top it off with a wee bit of lemon. Oh yeah, I, I think this is gonna be really good. All right, I'm losing daylight out here, so hopefully there's enough light to see me. I'm gonna start off with a piece of the baked tog. Cheers. Mm. Holy crap. That is delicious. That is like almost melt in your mouth. The garlic salt and the panko seasoning on that is, wow, that is really good. Ah, oh, man, I'm, I gotta say, I'm, I'm I might have outdone myself here. I, I know it's a simple recipe, but hey, I can't cook. Oh man, the lemon. Perfect amount of lemon too. If I were to rate this honestly, fish-wise, I'll give this an 8.2 out of 10. That is like a solid, solid way to cook blackfish, and it's so easy. It took me like 10 minutes. All right, next is the slightly burnt cheek meat. I'm a little curious about this. Oh man, dude, that tastes like a chicken nugget. Are you kidding me? That is unbelievably good. I've been throwing away probably pounds of this stuff for years. Oh, it's so worth the effort of digging that out. Well, actually, the burnt, the burnt breadcrumb on it makes it perfect. Dude, what a meal. Oh, what a meal. Wow, very happy. Very happy with this outcome. But yeah, if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll realize I don't really do catch and cooks, but I definitely want to change that this year and just try kind of a little bit of everything. Obviously the good stuff like black sea bass, fluke, um, blackfish, and even scup I want to try. But even some kind of unorthodox stuff like sea robin is rumored to be really good. I really want to give that a go too. So this will definitely be a bigger part of the channel this season is some, uh, some cooking. And, uh, <laughs> I'll try not to embarrass myself. But yeah, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more, I suppose.